Yeah, the other day on, I have given you this problem on auto catalytic reaction. Sushmita was asking, uh, you have not given the rate. You got it, no? Yeah. So, for auto catalytic reaction, what is the in the normal thing, what is the given there? Okay. It is elementary reaction that is given there. So, minus R A equal to K C A C R. We also have a relationship here. C naught equal to C A plus C R. Okay. So, what you want is a rate where uh, 1 by minus R A versus you can calculate C A minus R A and 1 by minus R A. You can also convert that into conversion if you want, but even without uh, doing that also you can calculate. So, now you also know that C A naught equal to 1, uh, not C A naught total C naught equal to 1. So, that means, this is 1 minus C A equal to yeah, 1 minus C R. So, now you can calculate what is C A C R, what is C A, what is C R you can calculate, you can assume C A equal to 0 0.99, okay. C A equal to uh, no, 0 0.99 it cannot be, because C A naught itself is 0 0.99. So, like that you know 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and all that correspondingly you can calculate R and the rate is C A into C R. So, you will get all the data. So, once you get the data now you plot this is 1 by minus R A versus C A also you can plot, X A also you can plot whatever is convenient to you right. So, then you will also get here something like this. So, you will have the C A C R the product is maximum at one point I think it may come around 0.55 or something 0 0.5. 0 0.5 yeah you will get that maximum. So, then you will have that maximum here corresponding C A C A equal to 0 0.5 uh, it may not be C A equal to exactly 0 0.5 where you get the maximum rate. C A equal to C R at that point because you have 0 0.99 and 0 0.01 maybe the effect is not much actually that is not the one. Okay. Yeah, uh, you can also calculate for example, when do you get that maximum? How do you get? Maximum is C A equal to C R. Yeah, yeah. D C M. total concentration is 1. Where is D C M? Rate is maximum we are telling. Rate is a function. This is what I have been telling you. Huh? Yeah. This is what you know the simple calculus we are not able to use and here in C R E at this level only those simple calculus. See most of the time area under the curves and dy by dx are uh, you know second derivative also we do not go most of the time right. Yeah. So, d of minus r a by d c a equal to 0 if you do you can actually find out yeah ok. So, then the, the, that is c a equal to 0.5 right yeah. So, then now uh, the problem is I think 90 percent conversion no given yeah. So, if I write C A must be 0 0.1 here, okay? yeah. so that means somewhere here this is C A naught this side okay? because it is increasing here more and then here less no this is 0 almost. Okay? So, now all the problems can be solved if you plot this and then try to find out what is the uh, tau volume is not asked only tau is given. So, if it is only ideal simple single mixture flow reactor, what is the area you take? This much is the area, this is for MFR okay. and for PFR 90 percent conversion, if this is 90 percent conversion, so this is 0.1 yeah this entire thing okay. yeah all that. So, like we have already discussed if I need 2 then I have to have till here mixture flow and from here to here plug flow. It is not? 90 percent conversion. Yeah, because that point 0.1 is there, point not 0.01 is there, that is the reason. Yeah, whatever, exactly calculate that. Huh? It is not actually Abhishek, it is not asked 90 percent. Abhishek, it is not asked 90 percent. The product should have 90 percent R. 0.9 or 0.9 or okay. So, uh, you can calculate from this equation what is exactly C A from that okay. 
So, then uh, you will get to know that small difference will be there. That is why I was telling it may not come exactly 0.5 if I remember correctly. Differentiate. You differentiate? If you differentiate and get it? Yeah. See, if it is straightforward reaction like this, it is okay. But to check yourself that if it is correctly coming at 0.5 or what is that maximum, you have to differentiate. See, you, you are asking me as if you know you are always interested in writing the exam, right? So your idea is that when I am asking, if I don't differentiate, I will get, I will lose marks. Okay? So and not only you. I am telling you, you know, all Indians are brothers and sisters, not much difference. They are keeping quiet, you are frankly asking. In the figure itself, it is given the maximum rate is at C A is equal to C R. Which figure it is given? Yeah, in 11 spirit, it is given like that. That is only for, uh, you know, he, he has not given what are the initial concentrations. Right? And this, in this problem, it is given that C A plus C R is equal to constant, which is 1. Okay. So, naturally, C A is equal to C R at point 0.5. Because every time you do not have to deduct like that, I mean, why do not you do that once and uh, you know that differentiation and then find out what is the truth in that. Why are you getting 0.5? And I can pain you with another uh, surprise test saying that it is not at 0.5. I can also show that. Okay? Yeah. So, that is why I am trying to give you as much knowledge as possible and you are trying to convert that knowledge into marks. That is all. I mean that is also important for you, but I think knowledge if you have marks automatically come. So, that is the reason. Okay, anyway. So, like that you can you can uh, get all the possibilities, I will just give the final answer, you just uh, try to find out whether what you get right or wrong. Okay? What is the first one PFR, right? Or you do not have that one, I think you, you would have torn it somewhere and then uh, huh? uh, PFR. So, what is the value you got, tau v equal to? Yeah, 6.8 minutes or maybe 6.79. Okay, no problem. Okay, that is fine. Yeah, then what is the next one? It is MFR. Yeah, tau equal to 9.9. Yeah, 9.9 minutes. Yeah, from here to the entire. From here, because it is plotted as CA versus minus RA. Uh, 1 by minus r a. You can also plot x a versus minus r a also, 1 by minus r a. Okay. So, the next one, next one is 2 setup, 2 that is m f r plus, yeah. So, uh, m f r plus p f r. So, this will be actually tau equal to 2 plus 2.2. 4.2 yeah, minutes and of course, if it is only MFR, tau equal to 2 minutes. You should have a distillation column or some other mass transfer equipment where you can separate it out. Okay? I mean, autocatalytic reactions and recycle is a wonderful uh, combination. The next one which I have not given you, which you are supposed to do is find out the optimal tar for same conversion. You found out? R. R as 4. Oh, you did it. Okay. Did you do it uh, graphically or analytically? Analytical also can be done. Everything analytical. Oh, everything analytical. Analytical also you can do this. You know, all this you do not have to plot. You can simply substitute this V by F naught. I have been telling you many times this. This is uh, R by R plus 1 XAF. 2 x a f, yeah, this is uh, d x a by this minus r a as a k c a c r, okay? but only c a c r you have to convert into conversion or you can also use, we have also this equation in terms of c a. The same equation yeah, minus r a can also be written in terms of c a, right? Th this equation. So, either you, whatever is, you see, once you are uh, expert, so then you can use your right hand or left hand. You know, I think uh, in at least uh, stories, people say that that Arjuna, one of the brothers of uh, this Pandava, he used to, I think, uh, throw the arrows, it seems, with the right hand, left hand, with the leg, head, uh, anything. Okay, because he is so much, <laughs> so much expert, so whatever he, you know, where he wants, he can put it. 
So, that is what, what we have to also do. Okay, there is a proverb in Telugu also, or in other languages also, it must be there. If you have hair, you can put whatever hairstyle you want. Correct, no? <laughs> yeah. So, but people like me, what they do? <laughs> I think, you know, where is the hairstyle? Because there is no hair at all, first of all. So, that is why when you have sufficient knowledge with you in your brain, then whatever way you can do it. But if you want to only prepare for examination, then you want to only know one method. If that one method is slightly wrong there somewhere, then gone. Because you do not have overall perspective. Okay? I mean, so many times I am telling, but I think you know the moment you cross the door, you will forget everything. Okay? So, this is what? Very good. This is a nice problem and uh, graphically, if you want to do that uh, recycle uh, ratio to find out optimal recycle ratio for, optimal, uh, for uh, recycle reactor, then you have to now try to draw these lines, where this area equal to this area and somewhere here you will get R. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, x a 1 not r. So, that x a 1 equal to r by r plus 1 into x a f that is one method. Otherwise, differentiate this you know the condition. Okay? You write this in terms of uh, actually you integrate first and that integrated expression can be differentiated as d, d of uh, v by f a naught by d r equal to d r. This is what again calculus you know what is the function with respect to what you have to differentiate. This comes also in the next uh, thing where, where you are talking about multiple reactions. In multiple reactions also you have to find out sometimes optimal uh, conversions or optimal volumes, okay? multiple reactions. Like you have done this already, I think I gave you this in the first examination, I give you A going to R going to S. No. Yes. no. I asked you to calculate 90 percent, I mean uh, show that uh, 60 percent conversion. No, no sir, no. no. Okay, what was the first problem? I no, first problem is that uh, derivation. Steps, yeah, catalytic reaction on cat uh, steps. Second one? No, sir. Pressure, pressure passed. Pressure total total pressure versus time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There is also another nice problem A going to R, R going to S. Find out DCA by DR. Where you get the maximum? Uh, yeah, I, I think you also have, no, when I have this kind of A going to R, <coughs> A going to R, R going to S. Then, uh, if I am plotting concentrations, so C naught, C A naught is this, and C A will decrease like this, R will increase like this, and S will go like this. Okay? Yeah. So, this is the one I am talking. This also can be differentiated. You find out C A and then differentiate that with respect to time when I am plotting this versus time. So, always graph should have this x axis, y axis that is very important. Okay? So, then uh, you, you can also differentiate and find out. Good? There are very nice simple problems where to test your knowledge, how to differentiate and what kind of you know problems, particularly depending on k 1 value, k 2 values. This is k 1, this is k 2, k 1 values, k, k 2 values. That is again you know if you have interest and if you are able to do all these problems with good mathematics background, then I think you can easily score in this subject. It is not that much complicated mathematical subject at this point of time. If you go to complicated things like you know the reactions are not simply a constant density or reactions are multiple and with uh, variable volumes, then you will have more algebra only that is all. But conceptually you have learnt, I tell you again I am guaranteeing that conceptually you have learnt whatever is basic things that are required. The additional things are delta x, where you just add here and there. Okay? Good. Okay. So, this is what I think here we will complete this, uh, uh, this part now with recycle reactor. That means, ideal reactors we started and uh, ideal reactors we thought only it is batch, plug flow and mixture flow. In continuous system it is mixture flow and plug flow. You know when you have to choose continuous, when you have to choose batch. I think all of you, every one of you should know. And then uh, uh, between the continuous two reactors, mixture flow and plug flow, when do you choose plug and when do you choose mix? Swami, when do you choose? Yeah, wherever the reactions are faster. Okay? Yeah, and definitely where you do not choose plug flow is that when you want to have good temperature control. You can never get good temperature control in plug flow reactor. Okay? Even though it is efficient, but as far as temperature control is uh, concerned, it is very, very difficult. Okay? Good. So, those two, I think mixture flow you know, normally continuous is 
chosen for large uh, capacities and within continuous again you have mixed flow whenever there is a temperature control which is very important uh, otherwise you know it may explode then under those conditions you always go for mixed flow okay yeah or uh, otherwise if you want to use still plug flow and then try to have uh, uh, better temperature control recycle reactor it is not to increase conversion this is the universal answer every student gives to increase conversion put the recycle no you don't okay you can't because it is now not uh, the mixing is you, uh, the moment you are bringing back the recycle uh, to the inlet uh, stream when you are mixing that you are now trying to have control over mixing where there is no mixing in ideal plug flow absolutely there is no mixing and mixing is uh, i mean it's not good for reaction very simple concept is whenever you mix two concentrations then you will have less concentration when you have less concentration rate of reaction will be less for again there is a condition n greater than 0 not 1 again this is another uh, myth many people have okay you can calculate for 0.5 order and then show for mixed flow or plug flow which gives more conversion right so that condition is very important if you have negative order reactions dilute as much as possible if concentration equal to 0 you will get infinite rate infinite rate means what is the value volume zero zero value because in all these design expressions that rate will be in the denominator, denominator. please remember that that is why we want to increase the rate as much as possible either through temperature or through high concentrations right or deliberately not mixing any streams that is plug flow whereas in mixed flow you are mixing two streams the fresh reactant comes and falls into mixer where already it is converted maybe 90% 80% 70% the way you are getting outlet concentration both are mixed mixing is instantaneous right but the conversion you will get under steady state conditions because that much average residence time where it is defined volume by volumetric flow rate as volume by volumetric flow rate as tau tau that much average residence time is required for the reaction to go on but why for that same average residence time why you are getting less conversion in mixed flow more conversion in plug flow i am trying to explain it other way i told you also already ha huh? nagsendu telling something yeah bypass it is the bypass or indirectly residence time distribution is correct because the moment you have a mixed flow and mixing and coming out so some molecules without spending much time at all they are coming out conversion is almost zero in that right so whereas of course it may take also long time infinite time but there is no use of staying there infinite time because once it is already converted as a product then again that acts as a dead space correct no i mean what we expect is the good uh, you know the, the time for the reactants to react not for the product to stay there so that is the reason again if someone asks you okay i have the same residence time in the both the reactors why mixed flow gives you more conversion uh, less conversion and plug flow gives you more conversion the reason is residence time residence time of individual molecules average residence time is same okay average residence time is same but the individual molecules individual packets if i look some packets will come very quickly from the mixed flow whereas all the packets exactly must spend exactly same time Uh, in the plug flow that is why even if i break all that packets and then mix them then i will get exactly same conversion there is no dilution there whereas here i have dilution i have a packet which coming in 1 minute i have a packet which is coming in 10 minutes when i mix these two that is what what you see at the outlet the combination of all these packets that is what what you see in the outlet okay so that is what is ideal reactors and you want to have recycle reactor you will have only Uh, whenever you need some control over the mixing and mixing can help you in controlling temperatures or reaction rate exactly uh, reaction rate or mixing also can help you in getting maximum products particularly for multiple reactions when you have some combination of reactants a going to r r going to s again a is going somewhere r is going somewhere it is producing some other but only one of those products either r r or s is your actual product that is required under those conditions also you can calculate i mean now we know um, oh yeah this equation that's all this is the equation 
and you can substitute that rate expression for A for a multiple reaction, substitute here and then calculate conversion for a given volume. Okay, from those conversions again you have the relationship between yield and uh, conversion, that is what, what we are going to do, do now. So, finally, you will end up under some conditions, recycle reactor is the best. I will also tell you later which reactions are best for that. Okay? But that is, that is uh, there it is too much mathematical, it is not that easy to integrate. So, that is why beyond certain point, uh, the chemical reaction engineering becomes very, very highly mathematical. And uh, as teacher, if I start at that level of mathematics, I think by this time you should have switched off all your brains. And I do not know, you. even now I think I am not guaranteeing that. Okay, some people would have switched off that already, I do not know. But with minimum mathematics, you can learn beautifully all the concepts. Afterwards, it is mathematics, 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 whatever system you take. It is only complications in mathematics and some techniques you have to use, because you cannot integrate analytically most of the time. Right? So, you have to go for some other technique or differentiation to find out uh, you know, maximum, minima and all that. Okay? Good. So, now I think we will go. Yeah. So, uh, the ideal reactors, you know semi batch reactors we are not doing, but semi batch reactors also will be helpful, uh, particularly in finding out the product distribution. Like you know, if you have uh, multiple reactions, sometimes semi batch reactor will give you more yield. How do you define yield? Yeah. Yield means uh, you know the concentration of uh, desired product by maybe concentration product by, uh, no, no, by undesired product if you take that becomes selectivity. Yeah. So, yield is at the input, either C A naught or uh, C A uh, converted, that is what, what we are going to do now. This is multiple reactions, uh, our idea here is, if uh, yield is clearly known to you, so much you have to get, you have to find out what is the volume of the reactor okay? and yield and conversion also are related definitely. Right. So, or otherwise, if I do not know what is the yield, then I have to take a particular reactor volume and then try to find out in that given volume, what will be the maximum yield. Okay. So, these are the same problems, given conversion finding out volume, given volume finding out conversion, but when do you know conversion or when do you know volume? I gave you, have I told you, you know, I have to give the question and I have the answer myself. A, when you have an existing huh? reactor, you find. I am talking about simple reactions. For, 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 uh, yeah. Product concentration. <laughs> These two problems I told you. One is known uh, conversion, find out volume. Known volume, find out conversion. But when do you come across this kind of two situations? So when you have an existing reactor. Yeah. Existing when you already have existing reactor, maybe someone was using earlier and he has thrown out and you want to use it. So, taking that volume, how do you maximize your yeah, conversion? How do you operate so that you will get maximum conversion? Otherwise, totally you do not have a reactor, you are designing a new plant, where you do not have any equipment, totally new plant. Okay? So, there everything starts with the reactor. Even though reaction engineering taught in uh, third year, fourth year like that, okay? but the actual process always it starts with reactor. That is what I think I also explained to you. you know. In fact, we, we have taken a uh, more time and at a leisure uh, space, I have explained to you how does a chemical process start. Some of you would have cursed me why this fellow is taking so much time for that. Okay? But that only gives you the overall picture of what is going on in chemical engineering. Otherwise, if I come and start only reactors, you do not know where you have to put the reactors okay? and you do not know how to connect with reactors and distillation columns, all that. So, that is the reason why at least at this point of time, I have to tell that. It should be done actually in introduction to, introduction to chemical engineering in the first semester, B.Tech first semester. Okay? But I think many people may not tell that. So, that is why whenever I have a choice, uh, even if I go outside to give some talks, I will first start only with that. How does a chemical process start? And I am sure 90 percent of the people know, uh, do not know. Okay? So, that is why. Okay. So, the multiple reactions. Okay. Please take this. I think I will give you some notes. When a single stoichiometric equation and single rate equation are chosen to represent the progress of a reaction, comma, we have a single reaction. When more than one stoichiometric equation is chosen to represent the observed changes, what changes you are talking about? Reactant change. Yeah, concentrations. 
concentration changes okay absorbed changes comma otherwise if you are not able to follow right in the bracket concentration changes then more than one kinetic expression is needed to follow the changing composition of all the reaction components comma and we have multiple reactions actually these are the definitions which i asked you in the first 0th examination differentiate between multiple reaction and single reaction okay single reaction definitely is not simply a going to r right important thing there is you need only one equation and one stoichiometry to represent the changes it need not be only a going to r i may have a plus b plus c going to r plus s plus t plus till x y z how do i represent uh, all these compositions with the time if it is a batch reactor i need only one stoichiometric equation because now a plus b going or a plus b plus c going to um, r plus s plus t plus u plus uh, you know u v plus all that is there but if i know one mole of a i know how many moles of again that side r is forming and all that so one equation is just enough but whereas if i go here a going to r r going to s i cannot use only one stoichiometric equation because this also can be written as a going to r also r going to s so i want if i want to find out the composition of a r and s i need again minimum two that one also you can do it but i think not required by material balance you can find out the composition of the other one because the total mass anyway that is same right so that is the difference actually between multiple reaction and single reaction single reaction when you say you have a single reaction that means you have only one stoichiometric equation and one rate equation whereas multiple reaction means you have more yeah you need more than uh, one uh, rate equation and of course stoichiometric equations also will be more that is the definition in fact that is what also i told there in that para even though without thinking you would have just copied whatever i said good okay so then uh, the reactions can be classified as classification it is not that easy to easily classify but some simple things we write here classification of multiple reactions yeah so we have series reactions a going to r r going to s parallel reactions are a going to r a going to s and uh, we can also have for example a going to r side by side reactions b going to s both are there a, a and b both are there so a may go to one and b may go to another uh, product so i mean any combination is i have written here very simple thing a going to r r going to s so that algebra will be simple okay but this also can be a plus b going to r and r again may give s plus t okay this is where you will have l in reaction engineering that's why you should be good in simple calculus because i think it won't go you won't go beyond uh, dca by dt or you won't go beyond you know either differentiation or integration of first order only it's not more than that but i think unless you have that practice that mathematics practice only i am telling so i have given here single i am simple but it can be very complicated but our requirement is this is a step and the intermediate component is giving me another reaction then you have the series okay one after the other whereas here it need not be one after the other a is separately giving r and also a some part of it is also giving yes it is not first r and then yes okay there are many combinations in fact in the industry there are many many combinations like that in fact this also go r going to s again a is going anyway to r and a also is going to s and again r may give me yes see i think it is really very very complicated now your objective may be to get maximum r maximum yes is fine it is not that difficult why anyway this fellow is going here and from there again he is coming here so what we want is maximum here if you want to have this r maximum then you have to try to control either to temperature so that means you have to minimize this rate as much as possible theoretically zero but it is not possible to go for zero so that's why you have to see that what is the 
what are the parameters what you have? You have temperature and you have concentration and also you have a reactor. So, that means, how do I minimize my R as much as possible in a particular reactor? When do you get low concentrations of some reactants in the reactors? By definition, CSTR gives you always low concentrations, you know that maintain low concentrations, right. PFR maintains high concentration, this is also one of the another reason why you have a PFR giving you more conversions and MFR giving you less conversion. You see in how many ways you can define SA, that is what I told you, if you have sufficient air, okay, yeah, then always you can try to put whatever hair style you want. So, that is why that thinking, that brain thinking that is very important for us. Good. So, this is the one. Then now we also have series parallel, this combination, series parallel combination, all of you must be knowing all this, but still A going to R, but now, so like that any number also you can write. So, now with respect to what it is uh, series and with respect to what it is parallel? B is yeah, and A going to R, R again going to yes. Okay, you can also write this in terms of the individual components. Like, if I have B, this is R. Okay, then this is S. How do I represent? Here I should have plus A, and here you should have plus R. That is parallel. Series also we can write. How do I write series? Yeah, plus B. Yeah, R arrow plus B gives you yes. So that is the series representation. So that's how what we can easily imagine that. And there are many complicated uh, reactions also. I will tell you some more uh, reactions. Okay, I think uh, let me tell uh, here itself. Okay, so I also may have another reaction called uh, simple thing. We start first. This is a small v. It's actually it is called Van de Fusse reaction is name of a person and we normally we call as you know Van de Fusse, right, because we know we were, but in many European countries they call V as V, F, Van de Fusse, okay, yeah, Van de, Van de, I think there is a movie actor also, no, Van de Me or something, huh, Van de Action, action. Van Dam. Huh? Van Dam. Van old actor now, I think, you know. Yeah, I think all action, uh, very clean movies, only action, I think. Nothing else. Okay, good one. I think Van Dam. Ah, oh, that is what? It is not van. It is not car or it is not van. Okay, it is <laughs> van. V A N they call as van. Okay. Fan Dame, D D U D D A M M E I. Okay. Yeah. Now I think you have to go go, go to Google and see whether what is the correct name and what are the movies he has done, all that. Okay. So this Fan de Fusse reaction is A going to R, R going to S, and here again going to some product T. And here normally we will uh, represent these are the Yeah, these are the desired products. That means, I am interested in finding out yield of this. What is the problem here? And all these things, you know, when you are discussing, we assume that we have elementary reactions, because if you complicated things, uh, complicated things will come anyway through mathematics. But to understand the basics, the first, uh, you know, the concepts, we will go to the simple ones like uh, this, uh, all these reactions are elementary reactions and also they are constant density system. So, that mathematics wise I can simplify, because beyond certain point you know in some courses you would have felt that also, after some time if there are too many mathematics you lose hands up. Okay? That means, mind cannot, cannot uh, you know perceive all that and then remember. Like for example, I can tell you very simple uh, demonstration, okay, this is the limitation of mind. So, uh, how many chuck peas are there? One. Now, now, yeah, you come on to find out 18 are there. <laughs> Who said Abhishek? <laughs> Abhishek, don't. Yeah. 
say 18 and all that you are guess, but you do not know that means mind cannot pursue. The easiest one is 1, beautiful. So, maximum one is 2, okay? or maybe another 3. Okay? Ah, 0 is easy because we like only zeros, you know, so that is why. <laughs> okay? So, the moment we have more, then it is mind cannot pursue. That is what is exactly the same problem with mathematics. After some time, you feel that everything is mathematics and you have forgotten about what you are talking, you know the problem, actual engineering problem. Yeah. So, because you have to now find out what is the technique you have to use to solve that problem, where you do not remember what is that problem. So, that is why you know that balance should be maintained by any teacher when you are talking about mathematics. Even transport phenomena, same thing. Okay? Then transport phenomena also, if you explain the physics and then write the equations, uh, you know the different most of the time you will get differential equation. That is also one common thing across all uh, transport phenomena processes. What do you do? Because you have first identify whether it is lumped parameter or distributed parameter. Lumped parameter is very happy. Okay? Why? whole system is one system only because there is not much there is no change at all if it is a distributed uh, system then what you have to you take is you have to take a small element right uh, material balance and energy balance for that and integrate between entry and outlet that's why what we call boundary conditions this is the universal method for all problems okay but the, the happiness only comes not by solving them but by actually formulating the problem finding out which differential equation is the best and also which boundary conditions are you have to apply apply what boundary conditions to be apply the afterwards it is a mathematical problem and mathematics also you have to learn i am not saying that that they are required okay but if i write one uh, differential equation and then send uh, uh, and uh, try to solve uh, that problem in 10 classes then how did you get that boundary conditions how did you get that uh, original differential equation you will forget that's what i meant Okay, so, that is why always you have to connect there. So, that is why we are all uh, again taking very, very simple uh, problem just to give the concepts first. Afterwards, of course, mathematics. Once you are experts, you yourself will like to solve actual values because finally, the actual mathematical solution that gives me the actual values of how the concentration is changing I, when I am talking about uh, transport phenomena problems or temperature is changing or velocity is changing. That is all, no? only three transfers, mass, moment and mass momentum and heat. Okay. So, what do you do every time? You every time you solve this uh, you know either concentration change or temperature change or velocity change and what do you do afterwards? I mean course will be over by that time, but actually what will be over? <laughs> what were you are doing all that? Excellent. That is the ultimate. I would like to find out what is the flux either that is coming out of your process or uh, whether it is going into the process. How do you find out flux if I give you temperature versus uh, length? We have our forefathers, four years law, right? That is all, no? That is the flux what you get. And you also have another uh, grandfather, Fick's law. And you have another grandfather, Newton's. You see? That is all. I think, you know, overall picture of transport phenomena is that. That is why I am taking more time in teaching you because I am teaching entire entire chemical engineering. That is what is the problem. You know, these are the things the, that kind of overall picture of any subject you should know at this point of time at least. Because at BTEC level, I cannot tell because they would have not done uh, transport phenomena yet, they would have not done some other thing. But at this point of time, you put your finger everywhere, right? In your BTEC, <laughs> some amount of transport phenomena, some amount of uh, uh, control, some amount of heat transfer, mass transfer, everything you have done. That is why I am able to tell you all that because what is the real perspective behind all these subjects? I mean, what are the important things what you have to learn from those subjects? That overall picture at least if you do not get after taking a course, I can tell you whether serious problem with you or with others. Because that overall perspective has not come in. What we require at this point of time is first that overall perspective. So, what is the use of CRE in uh, chemical engineering? Transport phenomena in chemical engineering, fluid mechanics in chemical engineering or mass transfer in chemical engineering. Okay? Not to get marks, not to draw a Maccabi Thiele diagram and finally, get uh, 100 out of 100. You may get 100 out of 100, but what is the use? You know, if you are not able to tell uh, how, what is the basis for Maccabi Thiele diagram? 
okay our pancho savrit method so those are the things what you have to remember right it is not the actual values it is not the actual mathematical equations no one expects you to remember all mathematical equations all derivations but that exposure of where is what and also when do you use what good so this is when do we say equation what is the problem here i have a going to r r going to s it is a series reaction then i have a parallel reaction here a is combining with another a to give me a side product which is not required for me now though that means i have to minimize that so i have to minimize the problem is i have first order here because all elementary we said and i have second order here second order reactor will consume more and more a because c a square right so that is why even though it is second order reaction how do i now stop that reaction as much as possible that's why we have the best uh, techniques again called uh, catalyst if you are able to develop a catalyst or take a catalyst where this is inhibited and this is accelerated you don't have to do both at least inhibit this this will automatically accelerate if you are able to do both that is excellent so that's why catalyst is also is important if you are able to find catalyst it is excellent you don't have to do your mathematics will be very simple again because as far as catalyst is concerned this is suppressed totally you don't have to do anything with that only you have to calculate using that uh, series reaction right so actually this is one of the examples where recycle reactor will give you more r under some conditions it's not all conditions okay so when i substitute this and this and then try to find out uh, you know the, the yield using this design expressions then you will have some conditions where because this is k1 k2 k3 you no know, k1 k2 k3 depending on the values of this k1 k2 k3 under some conditions under some uh, recycle ratios you get the maximum for uh, this r this r is not recycle ratio okay this r is the product another famous equation is denby equation you know denby no yeah i think you have to remember all these people huh? i think uh, this is also important okay so i have here a going to r r going to yes then i also have this a going to t and this is going to some u yeah so this is series and parallel combination if uh, okay if uh, this is k1 k2 k3 k4 and if k3 equal to k4 equal to 0 then i have only series reaction right and the other hand if i have k2 and uh, k4 equal to 0 then i have only parallel reaction all kinds of combinations you can get there but here uh, sometimes either s is the desired product or sometimes you may have also r desired product r is more challenging correct no r is more challenging why because this r goes to s and also r is going to u whereas here anyway r is finally going to s then i have to suppress this equation and this equation this and this that's all okay but now if i have uh, yeah r as the desired product then i have to stop this reaction stop this reaction stop this reaction three reactions okay i minimize stop means I mean. if you are able to get a catalyst particle where you can only produce only this r and all other things are suppressed excellent but life is not that easy you know life is easy only in movies and in uh, novels all these things are not that easy problems the way we talk and that difficult thing will come to you only when you try to solve the problem so the, they are not that difficult problems again but the difficult and all that is relative if you don't do any problem everything will be different a difficult if you have done some problems things will be easy so that is why please try to do problems i think we'll stop here tomorrow we'll discuss about the definitions of yield